Welcome back again to Vegas Live with Nina. Um, it's been fascinating today. We've had lots of uh, different guests. Somebody just dropped a spoon. Well, that's to the music, wasn't it? <laughs> I have um, Pamela and Randy. Um, they have their own band. Uh, their last name is Turner. And um, they look fabulous. They look their husband and wife. And I asked them if they were husband and wife. She said, yes, we've been married, I think you said 37 years? 37 years. That's yeah. not for a long time, isn't yeah. it? You know, my mum and dad were married for 68 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. 68 years. That's a long time. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. They met when they were probably knee high to a grasshopper. Probably. I don't know. But I know mum died at 92. So there you go. Yeah. How are you two? We're great, isn't that right? Now, we've got a little flip hair going. The flip is, normally the man has the guitar, and you have the guitar. I have the harmonica. Oh, yeah, but you just carry a little thing around. Yeah, She's well, got this. This yeah. is what happens when you get older. You don't take as much equipment with you. Yeah, it's well, smart thing. he's got other keyboards, too. He's got other people. Yeah, you yeah. protect yourself now because yeah. she's—he's now saying that she's carrying this big long thing around, and he isn't. So you know, typical. Yeah, that's, uh, well, that's how, that's life, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, sometimes he actually blows it there. <laughs> <laughs> I could have brought an accordion, oh, but I don't think it would have worked out. Very it could have well. worked out. We would have made. We would have made room. We would have found done something. Believe me, we do have everything. Stuck him up in the bar. Though. Yeah, we'll put, put him up on the bar. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to play something for me? Yeah. What are you going to play? Well, uh, are you going to do something together? She even has a poem. Oh, oh, what? You are so funny. Uh, our band, basically, Crossfire Band, and we do country and western. And we're going to do the western part. You're going to do the western part. The cowboy What's camp the fire what is music. the difference for our guests here? Well, country? country? Well, no, it's not the difference for our guests. But I thought you were going to say, what's the difference between country and western? Because to me, country and western is the same thing. Well, let us tell country, you. Country, western. May we educate you? May, may we give you a little No, education? because I thought I was going to educate you two. Well, <laughs> well you know, it's a reciprocal it. thing, isn't yeah. it? Hey. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. So, well, so, so what are you going to play? In, in, uh, part, oh, we're going to play a, a little tune by uh, Bob Nolan. He's one of the old timers. Yeah. Okay. That's the western part, Sons of the Pioneers. He wrote a lot of songs for them. And actually, he wrote a uh, song about a horse. You know, they're... Just wonderful songs. Well, they always have a story to them, they don't they? They always do. have an incredible story. I was they listening do. to them the other day. They, they were all um, different, yeah. um, very famous, yeah. actually, um, yeah. all from Tennessee, wherever. And, but everything seemed to have a story to it. And I thought that was rather rather unique yeah. well, because they, it's sort of, you know. It's, you know where that started? It, that's why they call it Cowboy Campfire, because when they go on cattle drives and the guys would sit around the fire at night and they tell these stories called Wendy's. Because they were long. I yeah. used to think it was all you know, the beans they ate, but maybe it was kind of both. <laughs> oh, the drink they were drinking. Yeah, you never know. And uh, then somebody brought a guitar and started putting these old Wendy's to music. And yeah. their cowboy campfire music was born. And, boring? Uh, born. Not boring. Oh, born. I born. thought she said well, boring. Well, well, some, of the, some of those uh, 16 stanza songs are boring. Yeah. Okay, so what you're you going to play the harmonica and you're going to play the guitar? Yep, yeah, we're going to do that. Go ahead. Okay. So what's the name of the song? The name of the song is Skyball Pink, and it's about a horse. Skyball Pink? Pink. 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 Oh, pink. Skyball Pink. Like a pink horse. And, uh, like, I, you know, there's songs that are written that are wonderful horses, and this is not one of those wonderful ones. Oh, he's a bit of a, he's a radical. Eve's definitely a radical. Yeah. Go for well, it. Skyball Pink was devil seen, his eyes were fiery red. Good men and ride that horse to ride, and all, all of them, them are dead. dead. Well, I won't brag, but I rode that nag to his blood began to fall. Really, I hit the ground and I ate three pounds of good old Western soil. Singing my ho, whoopie tie, oh, ride high and down he go. Sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. So I swore by a hand, I'd break his neck for the door to the all cry. I threw my new song that old guy you sent once more took a ride. He turned around and soon I found his tail where his head should be. 
Well, says, says I, perhaps he's shy or he just don't care for me. Singing, I hope we die, oh, ride high and down you go. Sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. Solo. Big solo. Big solo. Big solo. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Singing hi ho, whoopie tie ho, riding high and down you go. Sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. One more verse. Here we go. Then tell me the options to stream upon a little chair of gin. For a week and a holder and a counterfeit dollar, I, I sold, sold that nag to him. Well, when he plants the seed of his pants in Skyball's leather chair, I'll bet four bits when Skyball quits, Jim will not be there. Singing, I hope, I hope, right high and down you go. Thunder the western soil, thunder the western soil, and we're going Singing, out. Singing, I hope, whoop the tie Ride high and down you go, sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. Big finish, big finish. Here we I'll go. I'll try, I'll try. That's the story of Skyball Pink. One day he was mine, and next he ain't. There you have it. <laughs> you know something. You know, I listen to a lot of music and I see a lot of people and a lot of people come on my show. Um, you two have such a, a, a compatible thing together and it's just so beautiful because it's so real and it was so beautiful. And it's both from the heart. We yeah, believe in di divine appointments. Yeah, divine appointments. Well, you just did one. You yes. It was absolutely beautiful. Certainly but you, you were so excited. You, you're all her up and she's excited and she loves it. <laughs> I just love it. How long have you been singing this? Oh, Lord. Well, uh, well, we've been singing together since we got married. So that's and, 37 years. Yeah, yeah, we were just children. Uh, and uh, actually, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a third generation uh, Western entertainer. And uh, I got him off the surfboard and onto one of my horses. Yes. So uh, so you've always kind of been a cowgirl. Uh, yeah, well, it's three generations. Grandpa and Grandma met in the Buffalo Bill Wild West show back in 1913. We're getting and, a little bit of history here, right? Huh? Yeah, that's right. How oh, cool. And uh, yeah, he kept, she would ride her horse and leave it backstage and have to come back and clean it up. And every time she'd come back clean it up, that horse was clean. So what happened is she snuck out one day, literally, she found my grandfather cleaning up that horse. Oh. That is a way to a cowgirl's heart. Isn't, uh, yeah. there you go. See, yeah. see what happened? Yeah, now, were friend. a lot of these horses wild? Because I know they have wild horses there as well. Oh yeah, the bucking horses. And, and uh, you know, with the bucking horse, the hardest thing about learning to ride a bucking horse is the ground, basically. <laughs> well, I think the hardest thing to do to, to ride a horse is riding a horse. Never oh, yeah. mind bucking on no bucking horse. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> Just I, to ride. I've ridden on both, you know. Well, you can do right. English quite well. I'm sure you can I ride English. I, 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 English. I was ride. raised to ride English, oh. so I did ride. And then I came to America. Beautiful. And then I went to a place in, um, in Riverside, actually, in Los Angeles, California, and then started yeah. to learn the Western with this great big hump thing that you can hold yeah. on to. And I'm looking at this thing, why would you want to hold on? You should know how to stay on a horse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's what you have. Yeah. yeah, you don't. Yeah, you, you actually. It's a little different. If you push the top of it, it'll actually clear the way for the, you to get by other people. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yes. Broom and off you go. Some of the special stuff. <laughs> Just hang in there, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we actually, um, I started a cowboy poetry festival, and it's still going on. And you just had the 25th year uh, in Palos Verdes, California. Oh, wonderful. And uh, we came here. Do you have a farm or do anything like that now? Or um, are you just, you know, I got, I, I got about 6,000 square feet in Henderson. I don't know. I could probably put a couple of goats back there. <laughs> a couple of goats. Anyway. So you now live in, in oh, We live in, in Henderson, yeah. We, Henderson. we left Culver City, the so hardest screen. where land. do you play now? Uh, well, we're going to be actually playing this weekend. It's going to be at the Boulder City Spring Jamboree. Oh, um, fabulous. The, Eighth, which is Sunday, Mother's Day, and was oh, it uh, Mother's Day? Yeah, yeah, we're headlining. I just got a, a, a Mother's Day wishing, and I thought, 
Mother's Day or something? Yeah. Yeah, it is Mother's Day, yeah. But bring your mom because it's a vintage car show also, and we're playing in the gazebo right next to it oh, by man. Centennial Park. And uh, there's food food trucks and all kinds of things. Great place to take mom, and then here's some real... It is a nice place, you know, what is take mom to somewhere different and sort of, you know, somewhere yeah. where she'll enjoy it and she'll be... And it shouldn't be too hot this weekend, it should no, be okay. It's, it's got to be windy, so they may be hearing our music down in Laughlin. But hey, but why not? It's beautiful mu music, so I absolutely, oh, absolutely want to have it. Yeah, the band, uh, we have uh, three other guys. We have uh, Dean on lead guitar, Dean okay. Boylan, and we have uh, Teddy Hanlon, and he plays our bass. And then there's Don Reckett on drums, and we'll all be there. So it's quite a big band, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good size. Yeah. You know, sometimes we gather other people and we just say, oh, you look like you're sitting on up. No, just kidding. And you live in, in Henderson. And we live in Henderson. Yeah, we love it there. Do you ever play on the strip at all at any times? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But, uh, we're still, still out there, still can. We're still out there. We're having a good time. Uh, we do, uh, Randy and I do a duo act. We go into the senior assisted facility, assisted oh, living that's facilities. Nice. That's, that's, nice. that's a heart. We've got an audience with the, all those. All the older all people. The kind of a captive people. audience. Yeah. But hey, they, they now, know can, the words I can tell one thing why this is sort of kind of stayed together. You yeah, allow yeah, her to do all the talking. So you don't say too much, and he sits there. Uh, just smile. <laughs> smile. Strong well, what do they say? Smile. Keep the woman happy, and it'll be yeah. a happy household. Yes. Whatever happy they wife. say. Happy wife. Happy house. And honey, happy you, did, you did great happy on life. your. You did great on your harmonica, and uh, you. the oxygen yeah. tank is is waiting for you after we get out here. <laughs> How can anybody reach you if they want to book you to go and? Oh, uh, they can go to www dot crossfirewesternband.com we got some videos up there of some of our performances and pictures. they can book you for some of the senior homes because uh, it sounds like you like to do it. that we they also do corporate events corporate we just events booked, corporate we just booked event. a co corporate event recently oh fabulous yeah. wonderful so, so you're getting bookings and everything else oh, yeah. we're an amazing couple absolutely wonderful and thank you for coming on the show it's like nice to have a little bit of you know the western uh, Culture yeah. coming it's into uh, yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. We were looking for cowboys in Vegas. We wanted to start a poetry festival here. And where do cowboys go? They went where to, are the cowboys? North, they went north Texas, and south, everywhere. But yeah, that's why we're in Boulder City. There's some horses down there's there, horses. but yeah. there's also we're horses there. here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they've been amazing. They've opened up a few little avenues there for us to see this. Uh, this My show. wife was thinking of of, of uh, suggesting a new type of perfume. Because she used to work. Oh, I can think horses. of a few names. Yeah, she go could ahead. used to work. Now, what was that perfume? Uh, corral number five. Corral oh, number corral five. Number so five. if you that's see like Corral, yeah. if, that's you, like if you see Corral, yeah. see corral yeah. number five, that's you'll know that that's Pam mine. Turner originally thought up the idea. Yeah. Thank you very well, much. You know, you can make your own perfume, and you're absolutely right. The only problem is when you want to make your own perfume, the perfume doesn't really cost you any money. No. It's the bottle that costs you the money. The, the presentation of the bottle yeah, and the packaging. Absolutely yes. fortunate. Yes, cost your fortune. And you know, everybody in our band is um, older and more mature. And you know, I love with, the way with, she says that. With, <laughs> with wisdom, uh, Grows perfume. it comes with Corral, age. number five. Wisdom always, age, wisdom, age, wisdom, right? So I look at it this way none of us have wrinkles, we all have wisecracks. I like that. Think about yes. it. We don't have wrinkles. No. We don't have wrinkles. They're wise we, Well, we, in England, we call them character lines. Character lines. I yes. see. We have all character lines. Well, we don't have lines. This is a real character, right? <laughs> I think, thank both of you for coming on the show. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. And, and thank um, you. Well, we'll be right back for our next guest. You take okay. care out there. Thank you for the uh, Mariposa. Absolutely fabulous restaurant. And uh, they have a happy hour here, by the way. Three to six. Really cool. Thanks. We'll be back.